Hey everyone! Today's lecture is about Chapter 7, Atmospheric Moisture. So, the earliest philosopher recognized that water was the source of life. Asian philosophy defined water as the beginning and the basis of all creation. Thales, 6th century BC, was the first Greek philosopher to speculate about the primary material element or source of all beings and cosmic phenomena, which he identified as water. Thales view that water is the divine source of all living things, led him to suggest that the real substance of soul and nature is water, since water's power is fundamentally kinetic. Water circulation helps maintain balance of the earth and within all biological organisms. Life simply cannot exist without water. So, it is not surprising that water is also plays a central role in most of the world's religions as well. Today's learning objects are Explain the phase change of water and the heat energy transfer during phase change. Understand the concepts of humidity, vapor pressure, specific humidity, and dew point temperature. Determine the stability of air and its likelihood for cloud development. Explain the major cloud types. Explain how precipitation forms and what type of precipitation you have, and the global pattern of precipitation. So, what the physical properties of water? So, we live on a planet that is dominated by water. More than 70% of our Earth's surface is covered with this simple molecule. Scientists estimated the hydrosphere contains about 1.36 billion cubic kilometers of this substance, mostly in the form of liquid water, that occupies topography depressions on the Earth. The second most common form of the water molecule on our planet is ice. If your entire planet ice is melted, sea level would rise by about 70 meters. Water is also essential for life. Water is the major constituent of almost all life forms. Most animals and plants contain more than 6% of water by volume. Without water, life would probably never have de developed in your planet. And you know, scientists keep looking for water in the other planets because if they find it, could be find also some form of life. Water is very simple in this structure. This structure consists in two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. The nature of the atomic structure of water causes its molecules to have unique electrochemical properties. The hydrogen side of the water molecule has a slight positive charge, and the other side of the molecule a negative charge exists. This molecule polarity causes water to be a powerful solvent and is responsible for its strong surface tension. What that means? Have you seen some bugs walking in the waters like a plastic film? Test the surface tension. When the water molecules make a physical phase change, its molecules arrange themselves in distinct different patterns. The molecule arrangement taken by an ice, the solid form of water molecule, leads to increase in volume and a decrease in density. That explains why ice floats. Expansion of the water molecule at freezing allows ice to float on top of the liquid water. The water phases is another interesting fact. So on Earth, materials exist in one of three main states of matter solid, liquid, or gas. Materials can change between these states. When the state change occurs, a substance's properties will also change. However, if the state change is reversed, the substance will recover the property it had to begin with. Matter can transition between the three states when heated or cooled. However, why is the heat key is all this? When the material is heated, it absorbs heat energy. This additional energy can cause attractive forces between molecules to break. 
This leads to rearrangements of the particles because the attractive forces no longer hold them together as a titan. The same happens when the liquid is heated. The attractive forces between the molecules break lead them to become more widely dispersed and a gas to form. Do you know the difference between evaporation and boiling? Both are when the substance transforms from a liquid to a gas. Think of a boiling pan of water. All the water bubbles. This is because all the particles have enough energy to become gases. But water standing in a pan that is not being heated by anything other than the environment can also turn into gas. This is evaporation. Only the particles at the surface have enough energy to change from liquid to gas. Hence, evaporation is a slower process than boiling, even though it achieves the same state change. Both are types of vaporization. The opposite of vaporization process is condensation, the transition from gas to liquid. Think of a cold can of soda in a hot day. Those water droplets on the outside, or the dew on the grass in the morning, or the steam-up mirror after a hot bath, even the clouds in the sky, or a foggy windscreen in a car. These are all examples of condensation. Water vapor in the air has cooled down to form liquid droplets water. Now, let's think about the transitions between solid and liquids, so melting and freezing. Think of the Arctic sea ice. In the summer, when air temperatures are warmer, more heat energy is absorbed by the ice. This causes bonds to break between the ice's water molecules and the ice starts to melt. The solid ice becomes liquid water. But in the winter, the air temperatures are colder and so seawater freezes and the ice starts to form again. There is less heat energy within the ice and so more bonds can form, holding it together as a solid ice. Did you know that sometimes, when solids are heated by can turn straight into a gas? This is called sublimation. Particles materials such as solid carbon dioxide, aka dry ice, only demonstrate this. When subject to a certain pressure, it will turn straight into gas carbon dioxide. Liquid carbon dioxide does exist, but only occurs under very high pressures. Similarly, Gases can turn straight into solid when cold. This is called deposition. Our final thing to discover is that when the material changes states, the mass stays the same. The density, on the other hand, changes, so the mass per unit volume. But the mass does not change. Our glass of nice cold coke weighs the same whether the ice is solid or when the ice has melted. So, when you have the change of state, just remember that the mass stays the same, whatever the state.